Hey everyone, GoBot here, back today with a brand new episode for NBA 2K20. This is our franchise mode here with your Dallas Mavericks. It is our first season in this franchise mode again. Uh, if you didn't check out the debut episode for this series back last week, um, we are not playing the games. We're doing kind of like a GM type mode where I just control all the aspects of the team, but I don't actually control the players in game. So... Um, it went really well for episode one. I think y'all enjoyed it as well. So that's what we're going to continue to do here today as we jump in again I simulated off camera and uh, we're currently Rolling quite along right here, but we'll get into this Knicks game So let's go ahead and simulate this last one here against the magic and we beat the magic as well Our team is just playing off the charts. Well right now. Let's go look see at the timer here. They want me to adjust some times here, uh, which I do pay attention to these And they want him to get a couple more minutes as well, huh? Okay. So paying attention to some of these things here. Uh, let's just go before we get into today's gameplay and the episode and all. Let's look at the stats for the team. Um, so looking at the league, we're seven and zero, which currently win percentage wise, I mean we should be at the top of the league. But it says the Clippers are because they have a one more win than us. That's stupid in my opinion. Whatever. Um, but overall, we're playing really well. We're averaging one hundred twenty three point six points a game. Uh, we're just we're really crushing right now all, all across the way, but let's go look at standing stats stats here So I want to look at the team stats. I want to look at us. So Luka Doncic is leading the way for us at 36.1 points per game 10.7 uh, boards 8.9 assists Really solid play there from Luka Porzingis um, averaging in at 19 points a game Nine boards and one assist with 2.4 blocks. Brunson, who we talked about him in the last episode, I think he may be the breakout star this year for us. 18 points a game with 6.4 assists and 0.7 steals. Very solid. Hardaway's pulling in a 13.7 per game. Curry with 9.9 .9 a game. Uh, Wright, 9 points a game. Finney Smith, 8.1. Collie Stein's able to do a little bit as well. Uh, Kleba, Powell, and company. So... We have good production across the board, and currently Luka Doncic is the leading scorer in the NBA with 36.1 points per game. Devin Booker is second place in the league with 31.4, so tremendous job right there across the board uh, for for us. Uh, let's see who's the top rebounder. Steven Adams with 16.3 boards per game. Chris Paul is the top assist man with 11.1. .1. Top steal man is Dar Draymond Green. Top block man is Rudy Gobert, Gobert um, and then Embiid as well. So solid stuff. Uh, our Mavericks are playing very well. Let's get into the matchup here against the 2-6 and six Knicks. This is the first matchup against the Knicks uh, with Kristaps Porzingis at the helm for us. So let's go ahead and let's get the uniform situated here. Okay. Uh, is it not going to let me? Association uniforms. I guess I have to go over here and do this. No, 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 no. Crap. Okay, well, I'll back out. I'll do this again. Okay, so we're here from Dallas. Um, I'm not sure they'll let us quit without it simulating the game, so we're just going to have to deal with my jersey blunder I just tried to do, and we'll just switch it off. <sighs> Whatever. It's okay. Big game here for us, though. Uh, we're looking to keep unbeaten against these Knicks, who obviously want to beat us because their former star, who was out with the ACL injury. Of course, you have uh, Chris Stapps Porzingis. we got to go up. He, they got to go up against that we get to coach, thankfully. Let's go ahead and get forward, though, into this. And again, we're playing really, really well. And yeah, they're not going to let us quit, I don't think. If we try to quit, what's it going to say to us? Yeah, we're not even going to try it. We're just going to deal with it. Deal with it completely. Here we go. Yeah, 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 I don't care. All right, so here we are. The Mavs hosting the Knicks here today. We're 7-0, and and Chris Stapps Porzingis is going up against his former team, and we're led out there by Luka Doncic, the top scorer in the NBA. And we moved it from the 13-minute quarter, or 12-minute quarters, excuse me, now to 10-minute quarters. It's going to be a little bit lower scoring, but the Knicks get on top there with the early bucket. And Chris Stapps to the rim, finishes with the end one. Randall with a foul. We'll send Kristaps to the line for the and one to give the Mavericks the early lead here. 
Doncic Hopefully. And, away at the two and, the three. and it's up then and good. Jordan. So uh, one thing I do want to do real quick is go to our options, and I want to turn down the commentary. They're still a little bit too loud for my taste right now. Really loud. Good lord, they're still super loud in my ears. Why are they so stinking loud? I'm going to turn them down 35. I like to be able to hear them, but sometimes they're just, they don't shut up. Even though the commentary in 2K, we can all admit, is probably some of the best commentary in any sports game out there. But uh, this guy, I mean, he's not wanting to get up the ball. Peyton right there, he's just worked the ball all the way around. They're trying to size up here at the mid post. Oh, Hark Harkless gets blocked right there by Porzingis. Leave over the outlet. Here comes Luka Doncic up the left side. Man on man, and he's going to take it to the rim and finishes. Luka with his first bucket. He's averaging 31.3 per game at home. 42.7 on the road right now, Luka. That's insane. I don't think y'all understand. Like, I don't, I, that's, those are insane numbers from a second year pro, regardless of anything. I mean, that's just nuts. Luca with the board as the Knicks can't get that second bucket. It's a 5 2 Maverick lead here. And they're pulling out. Here it comes Chris Stapp's man. Let's see, we got a ball screen. We got a pick and roll. He's going to deny the screen, and just, he's dribbling way too much, but he finds Hardaway Jr. under the rim. Foul is called. On Harkless, second team foul, first personal. It'll send Hardaway to the line for two. Hardaway, very good off the uh, off the bench and as a starter out there for us, giving us 13.7 a game. You can't be disappointed by that type of production from a guy that's not asked to do too much, but be a uh, facilitator and a, a role player. And he just missed the second one off the back iron. So it's a 6-2 Maverick lead, 8-18 remaining in the quarter. Looks like we got a up screen UCLA look ball screen coming right here. He denies it. They're trying to find the post feed in here to 30. But they kind of jumbled up the Mavericks in good help side position. Not going to give that up. Robinson now dishes into the post to Randall. And Randall barely gets it off before the shot clock violation. And he makes it. It's a 6-4 game. And Brunson bringing it across the midline. Kicks it out to Cleva. Leave it to the corner for Chris Stapps. Chris Stapps in the corner. The big man's going to receive the ball screen. Pick and roll. Pops over and shoots, and he hits it. It's an 8-4 Maverick lead. Chris Stapps looking good early here today against his former team. Showing out a little bit. Robinson top of the key. He's going to give it back over to Peyton at the top. They keep driving in. They got a five-out offense driving hard to the rim. No good. They're able to somehow squeeze through there and get that rebound. Offensive board allowed by the Maverick defense. Don't like those second chance opportunities. Barrett kicks out the Robinson. Robinson back to Barrett in the corner. Tight ball pressure. Contested shot. No good. Brunson comes away with the board. Brunson pushing the ball hard up the middle of the paint. Give and go. Back to Brunson. Brunson to the rim. No good. Harkless comes away with it. Pushing the ball. Corner three. And it is no good off the iron. Porzingis. We're running here, man. Running and Hardaway just burns by everybody, puts it in. Hardaway looking good early as well. It's a 10 4 Maverick lead. Maverick faithful here in droves as they always are. It's always a sellout. They've talked about it before. Robinson for three, no good. Porzingis with the board. Mavericks, one of the best uh, fan bases out there. They have sellouts almost every, I think, every single game for a number of seasons now, primarily because. Even if they don't sell it out, they give away the tickets to make it a sellout as a charity. So that's uh, pretty cool there by Cuban, of course. He always likes to see this place packed out completely. Even through a rough season's good find from Brunson to Hardaway in the middle. Mavericks rolling an eight-point lead, 12-4 your score. And if I'm the Knicks, I get a timeout here and we need to talk things over, but they're not. They're going to let it play out. And there's the timeout. So the timeout is called from the Knicks. They're going to talk things over as the Mavericks are on a good run right now. They're in danger of making this a double-digit lead here early in this first. So after the first timeout call, we'll see what the Knicks have drawn up here. On a, a sideline out-of-bounds play, they're just going to go to Peyton coming to the ball. Almost a five-second violation right there on the inbound. Where are they going to try to get open here? 
Not really quite sure what they drew up. There's a UCLA pick that's denied. He almost lost the handle, kicks it back out to Peyton. Brunson on ball. Ball screen here. Underneath, Brunson goes. Pick and pop over, and he hits it. So a good response out of the timeout. Knicks 3 of 9 shooting. That's a 33%. The Mavericks 5 of 7. A nice 71% for Zingas for 3. And wow, in his face. A difficult shot for any man. And then you got the big man looking like Dirk out there. Who is now immortalized in the Mavericks court with his fadeaway signature as one of our logo pieces. And that is blocked and sent out of bounds. Nick's ball. Porzingis already with a couple of blocks. And now is in his zone with his, his ability now. So here we go. Nick's in trouble. Down nine. Ball in the corner for Randall. Robinson to the top of the key to Barrett. Luca on ball. They're four low. Here comes a double screen to Peyton, top of the three, and he hits it. Good stagger screen there from the baseline side. Up to the wing, and he hits. It's now a 15 9 Maverick lead. And uh, Brunson dribbling on a lot, gets it off to Doncic. Doncic to Kleba. Kleba over to Hardaway. Doncic's going to set a flex pick out there for. For Zingas, and he just completely threw it away. Hardaway with a very terrible decision there. First turnover of the game for the Mavs. Barrett now fadeaway shot mid post, not good. Cleveland with board. For Zingas on the run. Subs coming in, getting ready to check in. Doncic top of the key, drive by pickup, pull up, no good. But Porzingis with the offensive board and put back. 17-9 and Porzingis, man, he is rolling. Along, ladies and gentlemen. Goodness gracious. And dribbling through middle. Tough take. No good. Kleba with the board. Kicks it up to Brunson. Brunson running the floor. Mavericks trying to set something up into the post. And Luca with a little Luca magic out there. He hits it. Nine points. Or sorry. Ten point Maverick lead. 19 9. Luca. And Porzingis, the dynamic duo out here for the Mavs. Looking good here early against the Knicks. And that shot will not fall. Kleba again, another board. Outlets out to Brunson. Brunson now to Doncic. Doncic the oop, and it is taken in from Porzingis. Goodness. 12 points for Porzingis. 5 for 5 shooting. Put it in perspective. He's outscored the entire Nick team today. And there's the second timeout called. You think he had something to play for today, y'all? Going up against his former team, they traded him away for really nothing. And now he is putting on a show for his Maverick faithful here today. And they have a double-digit lead, 21-9 here with 3.07 left in the quarter. They're trying to get a look there. They go to the corner. Curry checks in for the Mavs in for uh, Brunson. Brunson taken out. Also, Powell brought in and Willie Colley Stein as well. So three new Mavericks on the court for the first time here today. Porzingis is gonna get him a little break as long as it's not too long, we're good. Doncic in the post and he's gonna fade off kick to Curry for three. Green light and it's good. Mavericks are completely on. Everywhere around you look, everybody's playing well. 24-9 your score. And again, even in real life, I think the Mavericks are a dark horse type of team, especially with what they're doing with the short season in the playoffs for the NBA. These Mavs, I think, could be a team that makes a run in the West. Uh, I think they have the pieces. Luka to the rim, finishes at the rim, and one. Goodness gracious. This is ridiculous. We have 14 points in the paint compared to the Knicks of two points in the paint. Luka going to the line for the end one. It's almost a 20-point lead. We're not even through one quarter yet. As Luka hits. And we may have some fun in this series, man, if we're playing this well. On-ball pressure here from Curry. But you know a run is coming by the Knicks. That's just the way basketball is. It's a game of runs. It's a matter of who can get through the runs and who can make that last run, especially in the NBA. Colley Stein picks up the foul. That will send uh, number 14 to the line. What's his name? Center to the line for two. He hits the first. Uh, Tre Trier. Trier. And he's going, he goes two for two. So 27-11, 2-0-3 remaining in the quarter. Mavericks. You can't, you can't slow it down. Baseline screens there. Hardaway pull up in the corner. Not a great shot. 
I don't I don't like that look. Again, when you get up in a game, you can't afford to just start throwing up just because you're open. You gotta get that good pass. And Cauley Stein in the game for literally two minutes. He's already picked up two fouls and sent a guy to the line twice. So don't like that. Don't like that type of production out of you. That's not why you're entering into a game to pick up fouls and give them points for free. Trayer's now 4-4-4 four for four at the line at the expense of Willie Cauley Stein. 27-13, Mavs lead. And uh, you see the three Mavs over there, they're all sitting there with their legs crossed, just chilling. And there's a turnover, so our wheels are spinning a little bit. Um, Carl, Rick Carlisle may, depending on how this possession goes defensively, he may want to get a timeout called to kind of gather his his team as that's missed. Cauley Stein with the board, kicks out ahead to Curry. Curry kicks up to Hardaway. Hardaway dribbling through traffic, pull up, green light, hits it, man. Way to make up for your bad shot you had earlier there, dude. Yeah, I think uh, Finney Smith or Armstrong is coming off the bench here, it looks like. Ball screen, that was a legal pick, by the way. He was completely moving. Portis hits it. And that is uh, Bobby Portis, former Razorback. Here now with the Knicks, we pick, good for him. Averaging 18.2 points per game this year. Good to see that from him. Luca, long two, no good off the back of the iron. Not a good shot. 25, or sorry, 29-15. Three ball in the corner, hit by Trayer. Trayer, and he hits it. It's now an 11-point Maverick lead. And again, here's that run I talked to you about. Porzingis exited the game. And now the Mavericks have to find another scorer, and that should be Luca. Luca, fade away. Goodness gracious. How do you defend him? As he hits another wonderful shot. Mavericks look like they're going to get the last chance at it here. As he hits there, 24.2 remaining, a Maverick 11-point lead. Mavericks will look to hold for the final look here in the quarter. Uh, depending on Curry. Curry actually splits the defense and... Okay. Splits him and hits it in. That's, that's a good shot there. 15.4, here we go. Driving hard to the rim right there. Bobby Portis, wing extended. Uh, okay. Driving it hard and finishes inside. Goodness gracious. 3.8 remaining. Luca with the ball. Across the midline, heaves it, and it's off the... He's, he just missed that, y'all. So it's 33-22. Mavericks lead here after one here today on a home court. Good, solid game by these Mavericks here early on, y'all. I'm very, very impressed by what I'm seeing. All right, so here we go for quarter two from Dallas. Al hands it back off to Luca. Luca driving hard to the rim. So, oh, looked like he got sent right there, but he didn't. He finishes inside. So we got the same look out there. Who's this on ball? Is that Finney Smith or is that Armstrong? I don't know who that is. No, that's uh, that's that's right. One of my favorite, most underrated Mavericks on the team. Right, 55. Ball screen over the three. Oh, my goodness. And that is out. Maverick ball. Wow, nobody can come away with the board. Mavericks find a second win. 14 now on the shot clock. And they're going to use that screen, and he's going to roll through. Coming to the ball. Watch back. Goodness gracious, all those screens right there. That is a beautiful-looking play. Heavy on this side, though, Luca. Step back, three. No good. Portis with the board. And you got to stop ball, and you just got posterized, Curry. Nobody stops ball. Nobody even makes him turn once and change an angle or nothing. Just takes it completely to rim, and now Luca is. Luca, he's been hitting today. I get it. But those last two possessions, I'm not. Oh, my goodness. Portis or whoever that was just got sent. Colley Stein stuffs him at the rim. Ball screen. Nothing happening. Curry driving hard. Pops it. Nice shot. Good patient look there from Curry. And you see the numbers he had last game out off the bench. Nine points. Handful of assists. Trayer. Three ball. And he's got a second three on the game. That cuts it to a ten-point Maverick lead. Knicks climbing back in. Climbing and clawing right back in here. 
Luca fade away off one. No good. He's under a little bit of a slump right now. And oh, goodness gracious, Anu. Dotson with an emphatic play. Nine. It's now an eight-point lead for the Mavs. Mavs in a bad spot right for three now to try to get the Mavs a little bit of something. It's an offensive board from Powell, and that's also no good. Mavs in a slump. We need some new faces out there, I think, guys. Come on. Robinson on the elbow, extended. Maybe a three seconds in the paint here. Portis kicks out to... Can't say his name. I don't know how to say that. Don't want to butcher it. And that's no good. Luca with the rebound. Kicks out to Curry. Curry off the dribble. Drives and kicks. Collie Stein with it. Finishes. 10 point lead. The Knicks bench is currently outscoring the Mavericks bench by 11 points. That has been a big difference maker in them making a run here today in this second quarter. Mavericks bench does need to start playing a little bit stronger, especially with Porzingis on the bench and Luka most likely to be the next guy coming out. He's been in the whole game so far, and that is stuffed out by Colley Stein. Luka, feeling it out, step back, hits it. And the fadeaway right there, Luka Doncic has now got 13 points in the half, five of those coming from mid-range. And there's the timeout by the Knicks, down 41-29. We'll get some subs to come in here. Whew. Good tempo, good pacing. I like what I'm seeing so far completely. And uh, we'll see if the subs. Here's Chris Stapps back in as well as Brunson and Cleva. We have uh, Wright out there and uh, Curry. So Mavs have a lot of new faces in. Uh, Luca on the bench right now. Chris Stapps picks up the foul, it's the shooting foul. And that will send up Peyton to the line as he misses on the front end. Here for the second attempt, trying to get a split. And it is no good as well. 0 for 2. Wow. Good foul ended up being right there for Chris Stapps. Brunson. Brunson drives by, elevates, and finishes in strong. Again, I'm telling you, man, this guy, Jalen Brunson, given the opportunity, I think he could be a huge playmaker here for these Mavericks with this team. I really do think he could be a big piece. Kleba with the board. Kleba with a kick out out to right. Right across midline. And he's going to just take it in himself. Squares up, finishes in strong. Good finish. And we got the pieces in there now. They're putting in the work. 45 29, Mavericks lead. Peyton looking for the ball screen. Not going to get it there. Drives off, beats Brunson. Brunson, though, with a strong defense, forces the miss. Mavericks currently are first in the NBA in rebounds per game, averaging over 56 rebounds. Wow. Unbelievable. As Brunson's now going to head the line for two. And he misses on the front end. Headed the line for the second one here. Tried to split, and he hits the second. So, one for two at the line there was Brunson. 46-29 Mavs. 5.30 left here in the half. Also heard about that uh, NBA pair. Oh, my goodness. Chris Stapps just... Blocked him off the glass and sent him to the deck. And Brunson can't finish at the other end. But I heard the NBA is actually going to be piping in crowd noise for their the rest of their season and playoffs from 2K. So kind of interested to see how that's going to be. I guess they just don't want it to sound like an empty court. Boring, you know. I, I get it, but it's just going to be weird, I think. But maybe it will elevate the game. Who knows? We'll see. Right into the post, the mid post right there. Fit wow, wow. Filthy no look pass into Kleba. Mavs are clicking, shooting 62% right now from the field. While the Knicks are at 40. 48 31 Maverick lead. And trying to get a little stagger look off the baseline. Flex pick Ellington three, pops it, can't hit. Brunson with the board. Kicks on the. Back cut right there as he was sent. That was a good back cut right there, but that pass didn't lead him far enough onto the... Should have been on the offside where he received that pass, but he caught it a little bit shallower than he expected. Got blocked, so here we go. Off 
thought down screen. Peyton at the top of the key, about to receive the ball screen. Goes off. Switch happens. He pops at the mid post. Hits. 48 33. Peyton with seven points in the game. We got a horns look here from Porzingis and Kleba. Curry can't pick. He pulls up and hits. Wow. When you're feeling it, you're just feeling it. Right there, he knocked it down. 50 33. What's the look here? What are they trying to get? What are they trying to get here? Peyton finishing in, can't get it. Brunson comes over the board, begins to push. Mavericks running their, running their lanes. Brunson, uh, difficult look to say the least. Don't like it. I don't like those quick, off balance shots. Not, not good basketball in my opinion. It's not how you teach it. And, Wow, Curry, Curry's just feeling it, man. He's he says, I know my older my, my other brother. He's the Curry that everybody talks about, but I mean, Seth Curry, he goes out there, he plays his heart out, and he's also a really good player overall. He's a, he may not be MVP caliber, but he's one heck of a, a role player for any team. Brunson top of the key, kicks it out for Cleveland. Cleveland back to Brunson. Brunson now to Curry. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Cleveland about to come set a ball screen here. He goes underneath, drive into the baseline, sent. Deflected out, turnover. Corner for El Ellington now. And they're scrapping for it, and it goes off of the Mavericks, they say. Don't quite believe that. So it stays Nick's ball. Now bring in Hardaway Jr. from the bench. Randall with the ball. Randall, bad pass. Curry takes it away. Pushing up the floor. Curry off one foot with the runner. Hits it. Whew. 13 points in the game for Seth Curry. Mavericks up 21. Post feed. Randall working against Kleba. Goes toward the middle. A good patient play right there as he kind of leaned back over on Kleba. He put the pressure up and then he leaned off and blew by good post move way to use his body and the weight against the defender he creates the look Cleveland at the top of the key with the ball he'll hand it off over to Curry five seconds to shoot Curry now off to Hardaway Hardaway with a three no good Barrett pushing down the left wing coming up against Porzingis and Porzingis does what he does so well and he Sends him another block. Well, Willie Colley Stein now. So two shot blockers in now for the Mavs defensively here. Top of the key out for Trey. From there, pulls back up. Fade away and Colley Stein sends him. Good hustle play from Baird to get that back in. Randall comes over with the ball. Foul by Colley Stein, his third personal in the game, and that will send. I'll send Randall to the line for two, and he misses on the first. Doncic will come in off the bench to finish off the half for Dallas. As Randall misses the back end as well, 0 for 2. Hardaway. Go! Just go! You have him on your back! Just gracious. And he's just going to pull up with that garbage. That was terrible. Terrible, terrible decision making right there from him. Blocked again by Colley Stein. But they come away with the rebound off of it and get the bucket. So 40, 54 to 37 your score. Mavs look to play for two here if we can get a decent shot off. Brunson inside kicks out to Kristaps. He's really done nothing since coming back in the game as he's now being doubled. Brunson for three. Green light hits. 20 point Maverick lead. Mavericks will get the ball back to finish off the half. Should anyway. Kicks it out to Bobby Portis. Barrett with the ball now in the post. And Luca, tough defense, fouls him though, bails him out. Bails him out, sends him to the line for two, and he is good on the first. This is the second. So with 10 seconds now remaining, here go the Mavericks for one final look in the half, Hardaway in the deep corner. 
You gotta try to find the ball to 77's hands. Where's he at? Collie Stein instead has the ball. Fade away. Misses. That's that's not what Coach Carlisle wants to draw up. Is let's let's get a last second look in at our secondary uh, bench center that's mainly coming in there as a rebounder and as a defender. But we're at the half. The Mavericks dominating here today and against the Knicks. And I hate the halftime show stuff sometimes. Let's look, look at the, some of the highlights here. I got Luca. Excellent half, as well as Chris Stapps Porzingis. Look at that three, man. Just pulling up, hitting big shots time and time again. Good court vision, kicking ahead right there to Tim Hardaway Jr. As he put it down and in. And then defensively, let's look at the stats here. So the Mavericks out shooting 57% to 38%, out rebounding 25 to 18 and taking away the ball more times as well. So a good half altogether for the Mavericks, both offensively and defensively against the Knicks. And if we can expect more of the same, this will be a complete route when it's all said and done here. And we'll improve to 8-0. <laughs> it's a 57-38 Maverick lead. And here we go to get started here in the second half, third quarter. Mavericks uh, are back out with their starting lineup. Luca's first half, 13 points, two boards, and two assists. Goes off a rubs cut screen, and Hardaway will start it off with a nice little shot. And we're back up by 21. Inside, Randall. Randall's going to back off and get sent, of course. You're trying to shoot over a long son of a gun out there, and Chris Stapps, you're not going to get that shot. Luca top the key of the ball, finds Brunson. Brunson rubs off of him, and handoff right there to Tim Hardaway Jr., Back to Doncic. Kleba coming for the ball screen. He fights over the top. Step back. And he can't connect. Tipping around. Hardaway comes down with the offensive board. New life for Dallas. Oh, my goodness. What a... Okay. Awkward kind of 360 pass out there from Luka. Finds Hardaway in the corner for the three. Mavericks up 62-38. Baseline drive. Beats him. Brunson, you got to... You teach your kids, you teach your players, no matter what. When you get beat off the dribble, you've got to sprint to the spot they're going to, throw your hands up, and make them turn, and he just did not do it at all. He tried to hug up his hip. He got beat to the rim. It's lazy defense right there. Luca. Oh, my goodness. Keep going to the rim. Luca. Luca beat the defender off the rub cut when he had the ball off the dribble. Instead of going straight to the rim where he had a dunk, he pulled up and missed the jumper, so there's there's that. Chris Stapps now with the ball, pans it off to Hardaway. Hardaway now to Brunson. Brunson going inside. Tough look, finishes somehow. We're not like making it look easy right now, but we're making buckets happen. That's that's all that matters right now. 24-point lead. Post feed to Randall. Randall against Chris Stapps. He tried to make it over those long arms, but missed it. Chris Stapp's running point right now, bringing the ball down the floor. Kicks out the Luka for three, green lights, and hits. Goodness gracious. Huge hit there for Luka. I like to see it. Harkless trying to pick up his dribble. Dead ball now. Blood in the water if you're a defender. On ball. We've got five seconds remaining on the shot clock now. Hard drive baseline side, Luca. Again, let him beat him baseline. Not very happy about it. 67-42, Mavs up. Luca with the back cut. Keep going. No, he lost it. Barrett with the recovery right there. That was a wonderful back cut. He did a little V cut out to the perimeter, and then when he saw the defender try to cheat, he back cut. And, but credit to Barrett, he recovered and got a hand on the ball off the pass. It was kind of a weak pass. Luca with the ball now, kicks back up to Kleba. Kleba now to Chris Stapps. Chris Stapps to Brunson for three. Green lights and hits. Goodness gracious. Good ball movement. Four Mavericks right there just touched the ball in about five seconds. Maybe five seconds. That's good ball movement. Kleba trying to man up here on the guard. Luca now having to guard a post player, which he can do with his length, but Kleba can't come over the ball. Had one hand tied up at the defender. 
The other hand is trying to grab that rebound, couldn't get it. Nick Ball. Screen in the middle of the post there. Where are we going here? Robinson with the ball. Cleveland matched up there now at the free throw line, extended. Hand off to Harkless. Harkless picks up the dribble. Randall sent. And it's Nick's ball. Another block from Chris Stapp's Porzingis here today, ladies and gentlemen. 2.5 remaining on the shot clock. Nick's call the timeout to discuss what their options are here. With 2.5 remaining on the shot clock, underneath their basket, you got to think they're going with something that's just a quick double screen, maybe uh, maybe going stagger, or maybe lob. Who knows what they're going to try to do here, but it's got to be a quick developing play with 2.5 left on the shot clock. And there's the double screen, and they got the quick look off for three. Dotson hits, and no one misses. Luca now pushing the ball. He does not have numbers, but he makes a quick crossover back to his left, finishes with the left. 30-point Maverick lead. 72-42 your score with six minutes left here in the third. It's been all Dallas here today. And Kleba trying to pick his... He does. He picks his pocket. Kleba coast to coast, and he finishes somehow with the left. Oh, my goodness. When you're feeling it, you're just... You're feeling it, man. Holy smokes. This is nuts. Look at that curl. Why did they not feed that quicker? It's a foul nonetheless, shooting foul, and Brunson picks up his first. Round to the line, he makes the first. Can, uh, right now in the game for the Mavs, off the bench, and Brunson will now take a little bit of a break. So the Mavs up by 30. 5.30 left, right. Brought it in the game, picks up the foul and one, finishes up the inside right there outside the bubble. We'll head to the line for the end one. And he connects on it, makes it a three-point play. Welcome off the bench. Way to come in there and make an impact immediately. 77-44. And he gets by the defenders. Rebound by Porzingis. Porzingis pushing. Got to respect the big man for being able to at least dribble and hold his own up the court. Cleveland with the ball screen. And they're going to switch, but nobody stays on Chris Stapps as he hammers it home. There's a dunk. 14 points now for Kristaps, shooting a cool 100% from the field today. And they go on the stagger screen, rolling off to the top of the key. Treyer with a three. No good. Off the, off the front iron that time out. Luca spinning back. Dunks it in with the traffic. Goodness gracious. Getting some some flair out here by the Dallas Mavericks. Now it is feeling it. 81-44. Kleba. Quick hands again. Picks it. Luca in the fast break. Hammers it home again with another dunk. Gosh. Dominating, y'all. It's just dominating. It's about to be a 40-point Maverick lead here today. And Kleba trying to get over in help side position. Cannot get... Well, he got there enough to make a miss, at least, with the rebound as well. Kick on the drive, and Luca with a little bit of a flare there you saw at the end. He's showboating now. Gosh. Dotson now with the ball, driving hard in, and he gets the foul. Hardaway's first, second team foul. Sends him to the line for two, and he is good on the first. A lot of new faces coming in off the bench here. Powell, Cauley Stein, and Curry in for Dallas. 85-46, Dallas leading here today. And Luca feed it. Oh, I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna give that little man. He just snatched that ball. By the way, that was filthy. I thought he had that guy on his hip. I thought he was gonna go behind the back or quick little no look through the middle to Cauley Stein on the baseline, but he didn't. Instead, he'll head the line for two on the foul. 24 points now make that 25. 40 point Maverick lead. And if you're a Nick fan, this is that time where you turn off the TV and you you, uh, you find something else to do. Maybe watch some Yankee highlights. I don't know. Find your happy place. 87 46, Mavericks crushing. About to be moving on to 8 0. And we'll get the scrubs in there a little bit today, y'all. That's fun. Fourth quarter scrub action. Luca driving down the middle of the paint. Air, a little floater, and it, when it's just going well, 
you, you can do what you want. Luka Doncic, 28 points on 12 of 21 shooting today from the field. And his Mavericks bench loves it. It's Kleba and Porzingis are dancing over there. Holly Stein picks up his, what is that, his fourth foul? Goodness gracious, man. You're a foul magnet. He's got two remaining. And he's good on the first off the line. Head to the line for two. And there's the second one. So 89-48. Three minutes left here in quarter three. Holly Stein receives. Passes out to Powell. Luca with the ball. A little jump hook. Wow. I mean, he does everything. He can dunk. He can dish. He can board. He can jump hook. He can step back three. He can fade away three. He can drive and kick. And he, I mean, goodness gracious. I, I'm not underselling the man. He is a phenomenal player. and may end up being one of the best players to ever wear a Maverick uniform or maybe an NBA uniform, depending on how his career goes. Seriously. He's a true weapon. They don't make him like Luca very often. I'll tell you that. It's, it's, he's just tremendously blessed with athleticism and his brain. Goodness gracious. He's got a great basketball brain with IQ. Mavericks. Nobody wants to step in front and help. Okay. Mavericks out shooting right now 64% from the field compared to the Knicks right now at 33%. And that also is a credit to our defense today. Making life difficult for the Knicks all over the court. Get it to Luca. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at him. Pull up off the screen by right. No good. But they missed their open chance. Luca was wide open as the help side defender left him and went up top. He had a wide open look on the post. 130 left in the quarter. Trayer using the stagger screen. No, nowhere to go though. Three seconds left. Shot clock. Right, still tight. No shot given up. Wow. Fade away. No good. Goodness gracious. Great defense there from uh, from right right there, making life difficult for Trayer. Luca now using the ball screen from Powell. Step back three. Doesn't connect, but taken away now. Portis with the board. Trayer with the ball. And help side defense is not there. There's the dunk. Okay. 57, 55 seconds left now in the quarter. Powell with the ball. Somebody please come get the ball from him. Luca with the ball now using the screen. Finds it in the Powell. Dumps it down for the dunk. Good job. Good ball movement. Good vision. 93-52 Dallas leads. Trayer with the ball. Luca fights through the screens there. Curry gets caught. Pop shot off the ball screen. Off the glass like the big fundamental. Shades of uh, Tim Duncan right there. Powell with the ball back again. He's mighty close to going out of bounds right there. Luca with the ball now. Ball screen from Collie Stein. Luca Paul pulling up over the three. And not happening. He has not shot the ball tremendously well from three, though, today. I'll say that about Luca's game. He needs to improve that three-point game if he wants to keep shooting it like it is. Portis for three. No good. That's definitely not his game. I'll tell you that personally. <laughs> He's not known for being a three-point threat at all. 39-point lead after three here today for Dallas. <laughs> Excuse me. Got something caught in my throat. Kleba. Right there with an awkward look. And there's Hardaway in the showboat. Luca sending more people. This dominant game out there for these Mavs all the way across the board. Offensive, defensive, running the floor, everything. So we're going to pick up here, get ready for quarter four. Ready to finish things out here with these Knicks. And we'll be coming in just around about an hour long, which is where I expect these episodes to be. Which good it's going well and if it's a blowout here i mean we'll, we'll, we'll play out a little bit here i'll probably super sim the last couple minutes if it's just boring at that point so here we go we still have a uh, same crew out there is that jj berea off the bench yes sir the vet is out there jj berea coming off the bench Dylan wright collie stein fanny smith and dwight powell are the five for the mavs and the first one at the line is good Yo, Kevin, can Dennis Smith Jr. not rely on just trying to be explosive all the time? Can he play 
with some poise and patience and get the in-between game going to help this offense. So the second it. shot here now from Smith Jr. Officially, that is the task at hand for Dennis Smith Jr. as he plays for the New York Knicks. So here we go. Brea bringing down the ball's point. 93-56 Maverick lead. Ball screen right here from Finney Smith. From J.J. Barea, he's been with his team, and then he left, and now he's back. Love him, man. One of my favorite Maverick players. Powell with the board finishes in with lots of nicks around him. Gets the job done. He just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. the pass to Nilekina. Nilekina with the ball. Pulls up. No good. Powell with the board. Barea pushing the ball down the floor, out to right. Back to the top of the key. Barea now back to right. Back to Barea. Barea off the little rub right there. Wow. Wright's got to shoot that thing, man. He had three dudes sunken in the paint. He didn't even want to pull up. Now he does. And a much more difficult shot at that. Bad decision. Not a good decision. And no good, but there is a foul. Finney Smith's first. That will send him to the line for two. All right, so the Knicks, that's their schedule coming up. They get ready to play the Mavericks again back on their home floor in a couple games from now. 95-56 your score now. One point added on there from Knox. Second point is up and in, so it's 95-58 now, Dallas. We'll, we'll continue to watch here for a few minutes more. Oh, my goodness. J.J. with a speed burst off right there. Can't hit the shot, though. Ellington comes away with the board. Kicks out ahead to Knox. Knox with the ball. Waiting for things to develop. Smith Jr. now with the ball. Of course, that was one of the men we traded. Dennis Smith Jr., who hadn't been playing this whole game that we traded away. He used to start for us, man. Big three-point shot there. Knicks are climbing back in a little bit here, but it's already a, it's a what 30 point 34 point lead with eight to go. It's over, man. This is where in a traditional uh, high school sports and stuff, you got that clock running. You don't do that in the pros in college, though, baby. You got to play through it. <clears throat> Misses that three. All right, so we're I think we're about at that point, y'all. Well, we're blowing them out enough. We we probably just super sim out the rest of this game after this possession. Let's see if Knox hits. He does not. All right. Let's get to it. All right. Let's go simulcast. Okay. Uh, continue simulation. And the Mavericks finish with a 119-81 win. Uh, the Knicks win that quarter, but doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. So the Mavericks get the big win here today. Looking at the box score for the Mavs, Luka Doncic led the way for us out there with 30 points, three boards, and four assists on 13 of 24 shooting. We're just looking at a couple of his highlights out there. Definitely had to have been the player of the game out there for Dallas today, just playing out of his mind out there today. Oh, and then I want to see that dunk he had where he showboated at the end, the, the one-hand tomahawk. We're going to see it. We're going to see it someday. There's the floater. The step back. Or the fadeaway, man. Here, here's here's one of his dunks. Oh, we didn't get to see all of it. Chris Stapps finished today. 24 points, 13 boards. Six blocks. Hardaway, 21 points. Brunson, 16, seven boards and six assists. Curry would put up 13 points. Wright, five. Kleba. All right, not bad. Collie Stein did what he's supposed to. He got some boards and he got some assists out there. Pretty good overall. Uh, the top score out there for the Knicks was Alonzo Trayer with 16 points, then Randall with 12, Peyton with 11. Uh, okay, where 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 to? Where to? Bobby Porter six points, eight boards. Not the best. Not very happy about that for him. But the Mavericks pick up the win. Uh, move. We improve now to eight and zero to start our season here. Um, Definitely showing up as a true force in the conference and the league in general. Uh, so I think what we'll do for the next episode, y'all, we're going to simulate Ford. And we may... Hmm, I'm thinking either this Spurs game 
or this Rockets game in the division. So let me know in the chat in the comments, do we go up against the Spurs in the next episode or do we go up against the Rockets in the next episode? Let me know down below. But I thank you all so much for tuning in here today as the Mavericks pick up the big win. Uh, as you see now, we are now 8-0 in the league, currently the top team in all of the NBA, uh, which is just phenomenal to see right now in the Western Conference, just dominating. Oh, the best, the best scoring team currently in the NBA by far, and defensively, we're the top defense. We're the best scoring team, or we're the best defensive team. That in itself explains an 8-0 record for sure. But that's it for today. I thank you all again. Y'all stay safe out there, please. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you all back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy.